All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how a six axis robot works and eat what each joint does on a six axis robot using machine simulator, or Easy PLC's machine simulator. Now, again, we talked about machine simulator before. We talked about the pre-built machines. You know, they have packaging machines. They have different, like a, a palletizer, a couple different palletizers, robot pick and place uh, scenarios. We did that one before. Uh, come over here, we have the tank levels and stuff like that. We have sorting. Uh, different things like that well they also have a robot loading section down here well, we're going to start that one to show you how a six axis robot works again not connected to any plc whatsoever now again i do have this programmed and i'm going to show you in a later video how this is done connecting with a studio 5000 version 31 with an opc topic but first let's understand how a uh, six axis robot works currently again i'm not connected to any plcs we're gonna command this via our IO and our outputs, our digital outputs over here. And then we have our analog outputs. So we can command that robot to tell us exactly what it does. We have our digital inputs and our analog inputs. We're gonna go down to make this a little bit more, I guess, easier for us. We're gonna to go to the personal view. We're gonna come over here, control. Uh, we're gonna use our arrow key to go up to get a very different viewpoint. All right. And with that said, now I want to talk about the way a six axis robot works. All right, a six axis robot works so from the very bottom is going to be axis one and each joint thereof moving upward to the end of the tool head will change and, and like I said, axis one is the very base, axis two is the next axis, axis three is the next axis, axis four is the arm rotate, axis five is a, the pivot, and axis six is the tool head itself rotating how do we know that so let's just basically put in some the cool thing about easy plc machine simulator is we can we can command different things to see how things work so we're going to use a, an analog output we're going to set that in and we're going to see what moves that was the bottom so we're going to come over here the bottom joint which is axis one we're seeing down here the axis one move we can see what the robotics does to give you a better viewpoint I'm gonna put this at negative 90 so that it moves the robot to a negative 90 point so you can see the next few axes working. The, again, the only axis that we're working right now is the joint, which are the base of it, which is axis one. All right, axis two is the next axis over here. We're gonna command that to a positive 10 and you can see which axis moves on that. Now, the next axis, so let's do a negative 10 on that. Okay, so you can see the negative 10 on that. Let's put that back at zero. All right, so axis three is gonna be right here. That's gonna be the axis three right here, moving the arm up and down. Okay, so let's, just to show you that, let's give a negative 10 so you can see it go downward. All right, so let's put that back at zero. So you see how fluently this and easy this is to learn a six axis robot using Easy PLC's machine simulator. All right, so what does axis four do? Okay, good question. Let's put in a value of 10. It rotates the tool head left to right. Okay, so we know we're seeing how things are functioning. So now we know how they, you know, we can write it in a notepad to see what each axis does so that we can program it. Or we can just get a good idea of how things work so we can get, we can program it from there. Axis five, let's put a command of 10 in there. That's gonna be the tool head pivot up or down. You can see that and uh, we'll put a negative 10 value in that one and set it and you can see we have our values over here moving our analog values to determine if we did actually get this because easy plc does give you an analog input back as well all right so what's the very last one that's the tool head all right so i'm going to show you this i'm going to put a value of 50 in here it's going to rotate that tool head around so you see that i'm going to show you that I'm actually show you that while it's running. So can we command two different things at once? Cool. So we're gonna go zero, set that, and then we're gonna go 50 over here and have this turning as well. So there's two actual things turning at once. So we can see how things are working. All right, so let's put that back at 25. You can see that tool head working, or that tool head turning and transitioning. Now the resting point to this robot is zero. That is going to be a 90 degree, 90 degree position for what we're doing. And as, again, you can get a different viewpoint if you wanted to. Um, I'm just showing you this out of, out of, 
a basic personal view, right? So again, coming in here showing how this works. Now again, the digital inputs and outputs, but my base implementation of this video is to show you how a six axis robot works, right? All six axes, where they start from the very bottom and work their way up, and again, on a robotic system, that way, you even if you don't have any kind of clue what a six axis robot does or what the functionality is, now you know what each joint does, where they are, how to program it, or at least understand the base implementation first principles of a six axis robot. Once you know the first principles of something, it's very uh, it's a foundational step to moving forward and having more knowledge on it and being able to program it or operate it or work on it or me even like you know do preventative maintenance and stuff like that on it i mean you you the sky's the limit when it comes to understanding the base principles and the the, the foundation of first principles of anything now again uh we can come in here and throw our stops on uh, easily tell our stops come up right here uh we have our this is our vacuum where we're cutting a vacuum on this is creating a pallet this is creating a box so we can turn around and create a box right here we're going to be actually programming this whole thing uh, again from scratch and I'm going to show you the outcome of what we programmed so you can see it fully functioning and get you to uh, know how familiar this software is and how easy this software is to work with everything um, and again this just shows you how things are working so again, when it comes to it, hope you got a good implementation of how a six axis robot works. And again, the personal view is everything, right? The personal view is everything. You can look at from a side view right here and do the exact same thing that we did before. Again, looking at the way the robot works. If we wanted a robot to come over here to the pallet, we could do a positive 90. It's gonna come over here to the pallet. Again, all we're doing at this point is controlling the base of that robot. So with that said, Hopefully you gain a lot of knowledge about a six axis robot, where to actually get the software. Again, the great software. Uh, you can just feel free to email me. I can get you a 10% discount on the software. And again, it's a good training software to use to learn, again, first principles of things. Also, if you're higher into things, also to challenge yourself. Um, I'll show you that in the very next video of how we program this so you can actually see how, again, this is what I consider a uh, something that I retool and re-engage with so that I can stay fluent in what I do. So with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.